Hey everyone, welcome along to another episode of Making Things Happen. So, in today's episode, we're going to be talking to a guy called Bobby Byrne, who uh, who left Ireland a number of years ago to pursue a music career in the States. Uh, he's now based in uh, Philadelphia, and uh, you know, over his lifetime over there, he's uh, made some contacts, getting involved more so in the music scene, production-wise, and uh, he's certainly making things happen. So. Uh, I thought it'd be a good idea to actually, you know, interview this guy because, you know, um, I know for myself, in the sense of being in the music scene, it's never easy to actually crack it. So, especially when you move from one country to the next, it's never an easy task. So, uh, yeah, I uh, I hope you enjoy it. Um, he's a good dude. He's he's certainly making things happen, and uh, you know, offer his support. Um, I'll be uh, dropping some of his uh, Instagram links, Facebook, that kind of thing. In the uh, comments below this video so uh, do check it out and uh, give them the support so uh, without further ado let's check it out all right people well, welcome along to another making things up an episode we have uh, Bobby Byrne on the case what's, up, Sean? what's right? the story how you getting on man Mr. Bourne yeah and, and likewise we, we're, we're, we're two burns on the case right now <laughs> yeah yeah man how are you yeah, I'm good, dude. I'm good, dude. First of all, I want to say, uh, you know, a welcome back to uh, to Ireland because I know you don't, you're you're not residing here these days. No, um, no. Yeah, you're in a different part of the world, which we might get involved in and, and figure that out now in time over the interview. So, uh, but look, welcome home, dude. Um, I think you're Sorry. based down in Cork at the moment. Is that right? Yeah, I just got here tonight. Yeah, yeah, my mom lives down here, so. It's my first time seeing the house since you moved down here. So. Sweet, 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 sweet. Really, I'm at the Atlantic Ocean here. It's mad. Yeah, yeah man, you got the you got the sun anyway. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Well, look, as always, um, you know, we start off with a question of, uh, you know, when we have guests on the case, like, uh, what are you doing, dude, to make things happen in the world these days? Go ahead, shoot. Uh, well, I do, I do music production and uh, write songs and um, do electronic music. I'm electronic artist, I suppose. Like, but I have a few different projects on at the moment. Um, cool. I moved over to Philadelphia about about five years ago. In the US, and, uh, right? Away. In the US, yeah. Yeah, I got an opportunity to move out. A friend of a friend worked in a studio over there, so I kind of got a bit of an opportunity and I just took it with both hands, you know? Sweet man, sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, yeah awesome man. Yeah, bit of a change, all right, from the whole Dublin scene. You know what I mean? It's a bit of a <laughs> bit of a mad thing to be uh, getting involved with in in a way. Uh, look, yeah. dude, what what's um what's the sort of motivation then? Like, what why did you? I suppose not not just in the sense of moving to Philadelphia in the US, but like you're a music producer. What's the sort of motivation behind behind that whole thing? Like, what's your drive there, dude? Uh, I mean, I'd always been into the music for years, like, you know. Uh, I did two yeah. years music production course in Dublin, and uh, I just wasn't really taking it seriously, you know. I was pricking about for a few years, just telling people I was a music producer. I wasn't really doing much with it, but... Yeah. Um, and then I'd been on holidays in America, Jeez, about 10 years ago now. And uh, I met a few lads in a band over there and we kept in contact with them. And the manager kind of said, look, one of my mates is working in a studio in Philly. Philly do you want to come over and, and take it a bit more seriously, you know? So, um, yeah, that that's... I kind of just went over and just kind of took a bit of a chance and it's working out, thank God, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's cool. Uh, like, have you a music kind of background in the sense, or like, what was the? Uh, I mean, I'd always played guitar and all, and then I got Ableton. I did a bit of an Ableton course years ago, and then you know, started getting into synthesizers then and drum machines. And um, once I did, I did that two year course in Pulse in town in there uh, down uh, down at the docks there, Grand Canal Dock. Very that good. was great. That was it. It was meant to be three years, but I couldn't afford to do the third year, so. I just I I knew enough by the second year to teach myself, you know what I mean. Afterwards, so but, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, because yeah, I, I I've been looking at some of your like social media. We 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 connected kind of like recently in time, man. Because uh, I I interviewed 
uh, somebody else that was involved in, in this whole episode or series these days. And uh, we got connected, which was cool. And uh, I checked out your social media and, you know, I can see like the, you know, the creative side of you in, in a big way. Like, you know what I mean? I'm looking at you with in front of mixers and different synthesizers and keyboards and all this kind of stuff. And it's, it looks pretty sweet, man. So you look like you, you know, you, you got your, you know, you got an understanding of how this whole kind of equipment works and stuff, you know, so it's, it's uh, taken a while taking a long time but i love it you know what i mean it's uh yeah you know, passionate about it so yeah sweet oh, sweet dude yeah. sweet sweet dude yeah yeah cool man um well look uh tell us you know you've went over to the states um you've decided to sort of get really serious involved in the kind of the music production side of things that hasn't been an easy game to play I'm sure there's a, a few challenges that you could probably tell the audience uh, that you've experienced in time. So you want to, you want to share some of that or. Um, I mean, I suppose being so far away from home, like uh, that was tough because I was waiting for my visa for about. Geez, over four years it was. So I couldn't leave. I had to stay in Philly. Now there's worse places to be stuck, but it's uh, it's still, you're missing weddings and funerals and babies and all sorts that goes on back home you know so that was tough but yeah. uh it was kind of good and then i got my green card and then two days later the covid restrictions came in so i had to wait another year and a half oh, before wow, I got home. yeah i know it, i mean it's it was kind of just made the most of my time over there like it was a uh, you know it was, it, was a, it, was, it was able to just keep my head down focus on what i needed to do i didn't have many distractions or anything and, and and it's been a blessing now, you know? Yeah, I know, so, fair dues. Yeah. I know it's not easy getting home and stuff, especially with the whole COVID yeah. thing at the moment. And yeah. I'm yeah. sure there were things that you sort of missed in the sense, family-wise and all the rest, and that yeah. probably wasn't easy, you know, but... Yeah. yeah. I mean, technology has it there. You can, you can always FaceTime and all, you know, do the, uh, do the WhatsApp and all with the family, yeah. the group message and all with the lads and all. So, yeah, it's, all, it's good. Like, I mean, I was kind of... Enjoy- enjoying what i was doing so much you know that i was i was kind of had a little mission you know this is what i need to get done so i was kind of you know it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't the worst thing you know yeah no, i know i get you kind of kind of put me it kind of stuck me into a place where i had to do i had to do you know what i mean was, yeah, yeah 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 no defo 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 um yeah i mean you know no easy feat like having to sort of deal with those kind of challenges when you're away from home but I suppose you've been there now a number of years as well. What what are you six years over there in Philly now? Is this yeah? Yeah, no, six years. Yeah, Jeez. yeah. Well, I, I've been down in Florida for a bit first, but didn't really like that. It's fucking. It's, it's just a fucking mad kip. It's, it's too hot <laughs> as well. So yeah, it's very hot down there. I've got I've got a I've got a, a few relations down in Miami, or at least down in South Florida and stuff. And it's uh, yeah, it gets very hot down there, man. It's very hot. <laughs> That's a, we left we left in like I think I got there in January or some December or January. Oh May, like we just couldn't fucking. It was too much. Yeah. It was, uh, well, I mean, it's a good spot. It's good for a holiday or something. But I just it wasn't real life. You know what I mean? It was just really rich people and really poor people. You know what I mean? It wasn't. Yeah. It's not. Philly's kind of Philly feels more like home. It's actually a lot like Dublin, you know. It's kind of working okay. class. A lot of Irish people there, Polish and also. Right, no way, no way. I've never yeah. actually been that yeah. way before, but yeah, I wouldn't mind checking yeah. it out. So, cool, cool. Um, well, look, I mean, I know it's been it's been a bit of a challenge having to sort of like live that way, miss family, and you know, get work, yeah. you know, start out that kind of music production career in a different country, the whole lot. But I'm sure there's been sort of joys though as well. Bobby, in a way, like, you know I mean, what I mean? What have you sort yeah, of experienced that, 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 that way? Yeah, there's been lo- loads of joys, and that's what you try to focus on, because there's, you know, you can you can sit around all day trying to look for problems and fucking, you know, piss them on about stuff, like, but there's, there's a lot to be grateful for over there, you know, I'm getting to fucking do something I love, you know what I mean? When I was back in Dublin, I was just bouncing from job to job, kind of, not really doing anything fulfilling, you know. So yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Yeah. a great opportunity when I got over there. So that's all I just tried to do is just focus on, you know, I'm getting to get up in the morning, do what I love doing, and then I'm working with all these fucking great artists and learning loads. Like it's a great experience. So yeah, no, that's so cool. 
you know, there's the, wherever you go, there's going to be issues, problems. So I'm just try not to focus on them, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, uh, what, what, uh, I mean, we'll, we'll leave links down in, in like the video now, uh, in the, in the, wherever, wherever this video is published, basically at the end of the day, like it's yeah. going to be on YouTube or my Facebook and Instagram, the whole lot, even yours. But, uh, cool. like what, what, what's the name of like your kind of production label brands, that kind of thing. So I have a few different projects <clears throat> Um, my own one is pretty digital. That's kind of electronic, housey kind of music. Right. Then uh, I have a project with me mate over there, Brian, called Born Feldman. And that's a, uh, we do like an improv techno set. That's, that's relatively new. We've been doing that the last year now. But uh, okay. and, then, and then I just started up my own record label kind of earlier on this year. Um, oh, yeah. the last few years now, yeah that's the last few years up in there i've been working on tracks for a uh, licensing for tv and film so right i've about a lot yeah I've about 30 or 40 songs there like that and that, that's the plan i just because i wasn't really releasing much music the last few years but i was working like i have, I have a lot of music written like i got to work with a lot of artists in philadelphia all different genres of music so we just Sweet. kind of finished that up so because there's fuck all money in streaming like you know so the money's kind of in in license in these days so that's the okay. plan it's just them tracks are done i just want to get a good get a publishing deal then and then hopefully that'll be a few quid coming in and then cool and then, uh, yeah but uh, that was a great that was a great experience you know i got to work with a lot of different uh, awesome man yeah no so basically what you have is like you have um your own kind of like a little sort of electronica kind of vibe going on yeah but then you also yeah. have like a script for doing tv and other kind of production kind of stuff like that like is that right yeah because yeah. well, yeah, i because i i mean i love writing music as well i love all types of music like a, you know rock and roll or whatever you know what i mean so it's a that's all that's all kind of its own category but it'd be released on the born house records that's very okay, cool and then yeah, yeah, sweet pretty digital kind of electronic music that's what i do with a live show with that like right know, yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah awesome man because yeah no i will we'll, we'll, sometimes, sometimes, yeah like some of the artists that i've done with the with the tracks for the license and you know, like happen on pretty digital tracks you know and yeah but uh yeah it's cool i'm just, just trying to trying to cover as many uh, just trying to get busy that's about it <laughs> yeah yeah well we'll uh we'll like i said man we'll uh you know in in the video here like in the links and stuff we'll definitely give you you know um show off your social media and stuff like that people definitely check it out i checked it out yeah. myself bobby was kind of like referred to to me from from uh jay hill who was interviewed there in the last kind of uh you know interview who's also from uh, philadelphia as well and making a music career as well so um yeah, you know by all means uh support the artists uh especially these days because things aren't haven't been easy the last sort of 18 months plus yeah, yeah. so uh do check it out I'll, I'll i'll send out the links man definitely um Cheers. cool man look uh you're obviously there a number of years now you're doing your thing you're getting involved where do you see yourself now pushing five, 10 years down the line? Uh, I mean, I'd like, to, now that I have the visa and I've allowed a pretty digital music done and I'm doing the Born Feldman thing, I just want to be, I just want to be playing gigs the next year or two, just bouncing around playing gigs wherever, you know, um, then do the, for the publishing, just have them tracks kind of bringing in a bit of money, welcome at new art to some more tracks and, um, Five years, I'll have my own studio then, and then I'll start working out that then. And then 10 years, uh, I mean, I want to get into music therapy down the end, of the, like down at some stage, you know? So I'd like to have my own studio doing music therapy and counseling and stuff out of that. What's um, that? Do you want to fill, in on, fill us in on that? Or how does uh, that just, just, it's a form of counseling, like for, uh, it's, uh, you know, for addiction counseling or music therapy works great with people with um, Alzheimer's and stuff. So that's, that's the end game is, you know, have a little kind of, uh, you know, kind of practice and then have a studio as well, cool. you know, so cool. Cool. But that's cool. yeah. five years. I just, I just want to travel. just want to see different places, you know, I've been in Philly. Philly's great, but I just want to see some other places now, you know? Yeah. US is a big place anyway. It's all the world. Too, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. So, and there's, I mean, it's things are looking good now. You know, there's that gigs are starting to happen again over there. So, yeah, it's a, uh, it's God now will keep that way. Yeah, that's uh, good, dude. That's good. And it, yeah. Yeah. Because. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah i saw i saw um i saw jay hill's kind of uh thing going on there but um I, like you especially then as well like you're, you're not just like producing music but you're actually looking to sort of uh, do live gigs as well and i think what i saw yeah, some of your yeah. uh posts and stuff like that you're actually you're doing live sets like with different hardware and stuff like that so you know it's it, it looks pretty sick to be yeah, honest yeah so yeah, yeah yeah it's cool i enjoy it it's kind of because i'm not much of a dj and I've always kind of been a, I don't know, I prefer the live, the live end of things, you know. It's uh, So I have me Ableton and then I just trigger and sequence me synths from that when I'm playing live. And it kind of gives me, I mean, I have set, you know, set clips for for MIDI, for riffs and stuff. But then it gives me a bit of freedom to mess around with filters and uh, and effects and delays and Wait, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of, I'll, ha- I'll have a rough guide for a set. But every set will be different, you know, which is kind of makes it more enjoyable for me. And hopefully people listening to it, you know, you're not just saying the same thing every every time, you know. It's, yeah. Uh, well, we, we, we've we something in common, the both of us, like, well, I mean, not, not so much me these days, but um, oh, there's my mic. I was saying to you, uh, we, don't have, I don't, we don't have too much in, in play. In, sorry, we have a lot in common in the sense of music and stuff like that. But uh, I was more like a DJ you're more, you know, um, producing like music based on hardware. But for me, it's all about bringing records, CDs, and that kind of thing, and yeah, and something yeah. that kind of thing. So, yeah. but, I'd love but, to uh, get into that. Someday. Like, I'm just shit at it. I just haven't dedicated the time to get good at it. You know, Brian, that I do the techno with, he's fucking brilliant. He's one of the best DJs. That that's how I met him from going to warehouse parties in Philly. And then I just fucking fanboyed and went up at the end of the night and got his number. I was like, do you want to produce it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. He's great. So uh, that's someday, that, that's something I'd like to do, get good at, is do vinyls, you know? It's, uh, yeah. I just I just came from a production background. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. That kind of developed yeah. into the live sound. And I grew up listening to Chemical Brothers and Daft Punk, and that's kind of how they, you know, do their thing on yeah, stage. Yeah, exactly. So. Exactly, dude. But, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah, I'm, Sweet. yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to get into the DJ stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm this. I mean, I mean, for me, DJing definitely. But uh, the whole the music production, there's nothing better than actually being able to kind of make your own music at the end of the day. It's uh, <laughs> you yeah. know, the time goes by like that. Yeah, and, uh, it's uh, that. That's my favorite thing to do. It's just sit in the studio and just kind of mess with the synthesizers and just see what waves walk yeah. what waves, and then just. Layers like I, I do that fucking all day. Like yeah. Day because, you know, but, uh, well, we're we're gonna get people to check that out in time, man. Listen, um, last question, last question, man. Um, okay. so you know what, you 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 moved from Ireland, Dublin, especially, of course, and made it to the US, and you're doing this thing for a few years now, and I'm you've got a bit of experience on the case. So, what would you tell? Uh, not just the, the the music producer that's watching this right now, because I know there's going to be a few of them, but people in general that just want to get out of the comfort zone and actually just want to sort of make something happen and just push, you know, a passion, a dream, that kind of thing. What would you say, dude? What would, what, in your experience, what would you say? Well, I mean, you said it there. Get out of your comfort zone. Um, take a bit of a risk. But, I mean, make sure it's something you want to do. And Because uh, yeah. I think... I'm guilty of that like a few years ago I was doing stuff that I thought I should be doing just what, what you know what I thought I was doing what I thought what other people wanted me to do and you're kind of you, you end up half arse in it because you're not really interested in it you know it's, uh, so just make sure just just make sure it's something you want to do and then it'll be a lot easier you know you'll enjoy it like because it's tough and it's fucking earning money doing it these days is you know near impossible so it's fucking just make sure it's something you really want to do and um, take a bit of a risk and fucking be professional about it because I've, I've worked with a lot of artists who say they're fucking, you know, professionals, but they don't show up on time. You know, they don't fucking, if they do show up at all, you know, it's a, they don't look at it. It's not viewed as a profession. You know, it's kind of like I was an artist and you know what I mean? It's like, a, it's not like a nine to five job where you have to, I don't know, people just don't view it that way. But 
I think just view yourself as a professional and, and yeah, and and because and then the people around you respect you more for it. You know, you know, like it's uh, you know, I've just worked with a lot of people and they're just showing up an hour late for a session, two hours late for a session, and it's it's not they don't view it as work. You know, yeah, I, know. I think it's just there. Uh, they're, they're, they're lazy. That's what it is. They're, they're fucking lazy and they don't really respect what they're doing. Yeah, the time people around them. Yeah, people around them give them compliments because it's something unusual, you know, that they're good at, which they are good at. But it's, you know, being good at something isn't enough these days because there's a lot of people out there that are fucking working very hard, like, you know. So you have to just put the work in. Work like yeah, big time. And, yeah. There's, there's a lot of talent out there, Bobby. Um, but you have to kind of mix that with hard work and dedication and professionalism as well. Like, you know, and that's, yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool, man. Well, look, listen, dude. Um, that's all our questions today. Mucho appreciated. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, look, dude, I really appreciate, you know, your time today, the whole lot. Um, I, hope, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening down in Cork, sunny Cork. Take your time out. I know you're here in Ireland for a few more weeks, so um, enjoy yeah, it. I'll give, you, I'll give you a shout and I'm back up from Dublin. So. Yeah, defo, defo. And, uh, you know, like I said, guys, anyone that's watching this, uh, we're going to we're gonna show uh, Bobby's kind of links to the stuff that he's doing, the production that he's doing, all that kind of good stuff. So uh, a sound lad. Uh, I've spoken to him numerous yeah. times on the phone. Give him his support. You. Uh, you know, it's there's no harm in that whatsoever. Well done, Bobby. Yeah. Fair play. Yeah. new EP will be out next month so yeah you want to tell us a little bit about that uh, that yeah, so it's three tracks three new great digital songs so yeah uh, I think I'm putting one of them out put one track out next week and then and then the EP will be out a couple of weeks later so okay sweet it. yeah but, so uh, it'll be all on your uh, social media more or less anyway yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Ah, fucking Instagram like everything else you know yeah but, uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah, thanks very much. It's a uh, you know appreciate. Yeah, dude, no, no hassle, man. The the whole yeah. the whole idea. Cheers to Jay about... as well. For, what was that? For, for recommend. Cheers to Jay as well. Yeah, big shout out to Jay as well, and uh, she's doing great things too. But um, look, dude, it's it's all about like uh, it's all about just having a, few, a a little bit of a conversation, talking to people that are making things happen, and uh, you know, I love supporting people and having a conversation and sharing with you know a bit of an audience what what people yeah. are doing in the world and fair play to you and good job so, yeah. yeah man 100 well look um thanks for everything dude we'll leave it nice. at that nice yeah. man cheers take care enjoy man the rest of your yeah God you too enjoy it. your evening take care man thanks man bye-bye